Hello everybody and welcome to week 5 of my vlogs in Iceland. Now, I wish you all very much welcome to this new video and uh, I'm doing my absolute best to actually get this one out on Sunday. I'm filming on Sunday right now, but sometimes editing and uh, all those kind of things kind of take a lot of time. Um, as you can see, I'm a, again on a bit of a different spot. I'm actually sitting on the ground right now with the radiator in my, in my back. It's pretty cold in my room right now, so I decided to just sit here and take this as a spot. Uh, as you can also see, I uh, did something different with my hair, I just slicked it back, I did nothing special with it, just some hair gel. Uh, I wanted it out of my face for today, and uh, that's why it looks a little bit different. Um, uh, when we're talking about my hair, I'm actually planning on going to the hairdresser next weekend, so maybe in the next vlog I will have a different haircut. So prepare yourselves for that, it might either be next week or the week afterwards, I'm not 100% certain yet, but I did have a, I did pick out a nice haircut that I wanted, I already had an idea in Holland, but I wasn't 100% sure yet, but uh, now that I am here, I am pretty certain what I want and what's gonna happen. But that's all beside the point, uh, I'm here to tell a little bit about my week. Uh, I didn't do a lot last week, it just, I just had classes and I went to those and I maybe did a couple of other things, but it wasn't a lot. Uh, for instance, next uh, last week I actually went out to check out the Northern Lights. I checked out the forecasts and everything to see if everything was uh, in order. They did predict some very good Northern Light activity. But sadly, I barely saw anything. Uh, the things that I saw, like I, I have seen a little bit in the sky, uh, it was really beautiful and just amazing. But it was sadly not good enough to make pictures of or make video material of. So that was truly too bad. Uh, further, I actually didn't do that much. I just had classes and they were very interesting, we're really uh, preparing ourselves to get ready for the assignments that we need to hand in. Uh, for next weekend I actually have an assignment that I need to hand in, so if the vlog is a little bit later than usual, uh, it's mainly that, because the deadline is on the Sunday, and knowing me I'm often I'm a little bit late when I start on my work, but I did try to work on it today and I got myself a bit plan and the idea of what I want to write, so now it's just a matter of writing it down and knowing exactly how much it needs to be since that wasn't really uh, clear in the instructions of the assignment that I need to do. Uh, further, uh, my classes are indeed growing more and more interesting the longer I am here, uh, especially my course on vampire uh, literature. It's just absolutely amazing. We are now uh, discussing the uh, novel uh, Dracula by Bram Stoker and I have to say just how much uh, it all connects to different stories and different movies. It's just so amazing and broad and interesting and especially now that I have some people to actually talk about this. For instance, Johanna is really interested in vampires as well so I can kind of share all these ideas and theories that I learn in class and also my uh, new German friends um, have quite an interest in the things that I learn in my classes as well so I have a lot of things that I can share with them and it's really nice to be able to do that because even though I know a couple of people here and some of the people here are Dutch uh, I do not share all my courses with them and I don't know, you just don't grow that close to someone that fast. Even though I would love to uh, know these people better, like my classmates and all that kind of jazz, but it's just not as easy. And even though I want to go to the parties and all those kind of things, I'm just not much of a party person. I always am a little bit scared that if I go there, I won't really enjoy myself, I'll just be there and 
kind of wastes time, even though I'm with pleasurable company. I don't know. It's always a little bit difficult. But um, yeah, it's nice to at least have people online and also to live with uh, someone who's also interested in, uh, in my stories and in the things that I learn in class. Today actually was also a, a little bit of an adventure. I actually went out. In Holland it's actually rather normal for stores to be closed on Sundays, while here most of the stores are actually open. Maybe not for a long time, but you are able to just go somewhere and do your groceries and take care of certain things. So because of that I actually went out together with Johanna's mother and with Johanna and we did some groceries and went to some stores. And uh, I actually managed to get some food and prepare it for them. So I actually cooked this evening. Now I didn't make anything really special, I made some chicken in the oven and uh, some cauliflower and just potatoes. But it was good to actually have something that's so much alike to the meals I had at home. Because the food that I get here is absolutely amazing. Like the, Johanna and her mother are very culinary uh, talented. But I don't know, there's always something about the cuisine at home, like the, the, the food you get at home, that always makes you feel a little bit better about being away from home. Especially today, uh, I had a little bit, um, was a little bit homesick. I did miss uh, my family, uh, my mom, my brothers, my friends, and uh, yeah, after after basically four and a half weeks, almost five, you really start noticing uh, that you start missing people, and that you kind of wish they were closer by instead of all across the ocean. Of course, uh, the chance that I have here and to be here is absolutely great. I, I wouldn't trade for anything else, and I am so happy I am here. But it's just, I've never been away from my home for this long. Like, it has already been a month now, officially. Today is officially a month. And, um, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird to, to be away from uh, your family and the things that you know for quite some time. And to know that I'm actually going to be here for five more months uh, till July is something that kind of scares me but also excites me. So, yeah, I, I really need to see how that's going to work out. Of course, the, the contact I have with my family through Skype is still great and uh, it helps me a lot to actually still see their faces and it also helps them because they also miss me and yeah that, that somewhat makes me happy that I'm actually able to use the internet and see my family just even though it's just a computer screen and you can't really physically touch them or hug them being able to actually talk to them is so great and you just realize you start missing them uh, more and more the longer you're away. And this is only a month. So, luckily, uh, Johanna's family is very supportive and they are super sweet to me. And uh, they make me feel really at home in this house and in this country. But it's still not your real family. And yeah, I still, I still miss them. Talking about feeling at home with uh, her family, uh, last night, uh, this Saturday, yesterday, I uh, went to her sister and her brother-in-law and we played this wonderful, wonderful game that's called Cards Against Humanity and oh, I had so much fun. The game is just amazingly offensive and horrible and racist and oh, it's actually really awful when you think about it, but it brings out so many laughs and we had so much fun last night. Uh, I would, I am already looking forward to the next time I can do that with them because it was just so much fun and uh, next time they're even gonna invite uh, uh, her brother-in-law's brothers so it will gonna be with even more people and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to another game and uh, 
it's gonna be gonna be a lot of fun. Now further, I actually don't have a lot of other things to tell you guys. Uh, I didn't do that much this week. I relaxed for a little bit. I mainly stayed home, and yeah, you you of course ha I have some footage, but it's not it's not that much, as especially compared to last week. Like uh, in the beginning of uh, last week's video, I actually said I didn't have that much footage, but it ended up being about a half an hour instead of the normally 20 minutes. Um, and this time, I'm actually pretty certain that it's not going to be half an hour, but I do have some footage and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. So, without further ado and talking and rambling about my life and my feelings, uh, I will introduce you guys to my footage of this week and the pictures that I made. And I really hope you guys will enjoy them, and I will see you all in the next week. So, I'll see you all later. Bye! Hey everybody, and welcome to day one of week five? I'm not 100% sure if I'm right with this week, but yes, uh, it's Monday again just had my first classes again and I have to say it was pretty great uh, we had some extra classes on geology uh, especially uh, focused on Iceland it was really interesting and I really hope you guys can, uh, can actually understand me I'm now waiting for my bus and uh, well if you can I'll probably voice over all of this uh, but yes, as you can see, the weather is just marvelous. Uh, and I'm just waiting for my bus right now home. I don't know what time it will arrive, hopefully pretty soon. I don't see the bus yet, though. But yes, I just had class, it was pretty interesting. I didn't have the usual classmates to hang out with, so it was pretty calm today. Didn't have many people to talk to, but that's completely fine with me. Um, my plans for the book today is basically checking out what I need to do for a couple of assignments. And uh, I'm gonna put this video on my computer, edit maybe some other things, and uh, yeah. Not that eventful, uh, we'll see how that will go this week. I don't have many plans, but I will get funding uh, very soon. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to do some fun things again. So, that was a little update for today and I'll see you all later. I'll keep you of course all up to date with the rest of the week. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all. So I was just sitting in my room and suddenly I look outside and I see this right here. I got just just got home like for 10 minutes and now there's this snowstorm outside just turning everything white again. Everything melted actually today. There was barely any ice on the ground or around and now everything is being covered snow again and for the coming days they're actually uh, telling that it's gonna freeze and that the weather is gonna subdue though and it's gonna be a little bit more calm and no freak snowstorms but this does match the saying that if you don't know what weather it is just wait for five minutes and it changes just freak snowstorms out of nowhere or it's only it starts raining, or it's really super windy. But yeah, this is just something I wanted to show you guys. And also, a little bit of the view from uh, outside my room. Good morning. I just came back from my lecture, and it's about two, or uh, sorry, it's about ten in the morning. And I went for a little walk, and as you might hear, 
I am very close to the coast right now. So I'll let you show you. Look at that view though. Now I couldn't resist going here for a little bit and take a seat and enjoy the wonderful view here in the morning. Like I've been here a couple of times. I've been here at uh, New Year's Day and a couple, uh, I think it was last week, uh, I went here, made a couple of wonderful nature shots, if it might not even be two weeks ago. But I haven't been here in the morning before. And as you can see, I'm wearing my warm hood and a beanie, and my jacket and an over jacket. And it's pretty cold right now, but the weather is absolutely quiet. And the sea is really calming right now. It's just so beautiful. So, I'm just enjoying myself right here, looking at the beautiful sea. And just listening to it is so calming. I could sit here for a very long time, even though it's freezing, but it's just so calming to listen to this and look at it. <sighs> Quite a tranquil start of a, of a day, I gotta say. My lecture was actually really interesting. I managed to bring in some valid points and we had some very interesting discussions. So uh, today, today is a good start. Even though I was really tired this morning, I'm pretty awake right now. But uh, the, the sea, this, this view, guys, it's just so mesmerizing and beautiful. You wouldn't imagine that you're uh, in the capital of, of Iceland and just looking at nature like this and having a view like this uh, is just so beautiful. I'm actually looking at the Atlantic Ocean right now, as far as I know. I think so. So that's an ocean I've never actually stepped foot in or seen. And uh, since Holland is connected to the North Sea and everything, it's just so beautiful, guys. Uh. So yeah, I wanted to sh share this little mesmerizing quiet moment and uh, I'll keep you guys updated for the rest of this day and this week so I'll see you all around bye bye Hey everybody, here I am again. Uh, I'm at the university once again. I was on my way to the bus station and just look at the weather. I know I've made the shot before, but the sun is shining, the weather is great, and I really wanted to show it off. Actually, I'm wearing my sunglasses right now, so I'm very pleased. Maybe you can see a little bit of mountain if I raise my arms. But Oh, the view is absolutely beautiful. If you look over there, at this little building over there, that's the Pearl. Oh, no, wait, it's some uh, Yes, wait, that, yes, there it is. This little building, that's the Pearl. It's a very big restaurant in the top and it has a museum in it. It's just a wonderful spot, actually. We've been there before, uh, or at least I've been there before last year, or last time I was here. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the absolute beautiful view. As you can see, there's quite some snow, quite some snow around. But uh, the weather is just absolutely wonderful. They, uh, the forecast said it will be just like this tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, so I'm pretty sure I will be going out. It's 
so uh, yeah, expect some nice nature shots. Maybe I'll be able to get some mountains on the picture. Yes. So, I'll see you all around. Hope you enjoyed this little snippet. Hi guys! It's about 9 o'clock today and it's the Friday, so day 5 of week 5 if I'm right. Now, tonight we're going on an adventure. We're going out to see the Northern Lights. And um, after some pressuring from uh, also my mom, who has been asking me, uh, like, have you seen him? Have you seen him? Uh, I'm now finally going out and actually just by looking out of the window I could already see some. Now I can't really show you from the car because well I have lighting here and just all the street lights kind of uh, disturb the image of that, uh, the lights. But when we're a little bit out of the city and the light pollution is gone then I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see some. So I'm definitely gonna make some videos and pictures then. Um, some of my uh, Dutch classmates have already seen them. Now I'm not sure if they actually saw them tonight or if it was yesterday, but I checked the forecast and it was said that they were active tonight and the sky is clear, you can see the stars, you can see the moon, there are barely any clouds. So I am really excited for seeing them and uh, yes, I'll, I'll definitely show them to you guys as well. So. Yes, we're on our way right now. We just left and uh, I'll definitely show you guys footage from the outside world. Even if we don't see them tonight, maybe we'll see them another time. And uh, at least you guys will have some footage from the night skies here in Iceland. And uh, well, hopefully that's enjoyable too. So I'll keep you all updated. And uh, I really hope we're gonna see some tonight. So, I'll see you all later. Hey everybody, we're back home again. Uh, it's about, let me check the time, um, half past 10 and uh, we just got home from our little expedition and sadly we couldn't find any northern lights. We uh, did go a little bit out of the city. Uh, I could see a couple of uh, light waves in the air but I couldn't take any pictures and I couldn't take uh, any videos of them. So that's truly a pity. So we went back into the city. We got some uh, medicine for uh, Johanna's mother. She is uh, pretty sick right now. And uh, we got ourselves some snacks. So in a moment, I'm gonna eat some chocolate pudding. And I also got myself a bag of beef jerky, like actual American beef jerky. Now, Johanna and I never had that in real life or online. I don't know why I said real life, but uh, yes, thank you. We got some uh, Wild West beef jerky, just some normal uh, strips. And uh, we're gonna try him out. We never had it, and uh, we're gonna see if it's actually nice to eat. Else, uh, I guess we give it to the cats or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they will like it. But yeah, no northern lights today, but uh, we're gonna try again tomorrow. As far as I know, um, tomorrow we're actually going to the mall. We're gonna go with uh, uh, Johanna's sister and uh, her little nieces. And we're gonna enjoy ourselves in the arcade for a moment and uh, we're gonna have in general just a pretty good time so I'll probably have some footage from that day um, if I'm gonna see the northern lights tomorrow I will definitely make pictures and make videos but today was not the day so tomorrow or maybe next week will be uh, a new try and I'll definitely let you guys know so that will be it for tonight I will give you guys a small update on how the beef jerky was and uh, 
I wish you all a wonderful evening. See you all around. This is Liz and we're going to try beef jerky for the first time. Yes. We're going to eat beef jerky for the first time. It's just a regular normal beef jerky. It's nothing special like peppered or with barbecue sauce or with... I don't even know what else they had. And the note, we have <coughs> never had beef jerky before. Okay. At all. What? Do not eat oxygen absorber. Do not microwave. This only makes me want to microwave it even more. But okay. It smells kind of funky. It looks even more funky. It looks like pieces of leather. Mm. Oh, there you go. And how is it? <laughs> really weird. It's like salt and sweet. I don't like it. No. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How do people like this? Like, I can imagine smoked beef is nice. There's like this weird sweet taste on it. But at least it's gluten free. That's a plus. No. Yeah. Do not eat absorber. I know. Store it in a cool, dry place. Eat for three days of opening. No need to refrigerate. Best before or sometime. Ugh. Beef jerky, yay or nay? No, absolutely not. <laughs> How can people like this? I don't I understand. Don't know. Uh, well, that was beef jerky. You guys try it for yourself. Maybe you guys like it, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we have Johanna. Uh, it's now her turn to try the beef jerky. Yes. Yes. Describe everything. What do you think of the smell? The smell is horrible. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely horrible. It's, uh, like, uh, salami that's gone bad in the... Kind of, yeah. Like, fridge. It does smell like meat and all. Yeah. Say, and that part is tasty, but it also smells like this weird Swedish thing. Maybe you should take a smaller piece, because that's pretty big. <laughs> just take a small bite. I don't think there's a small piece in there. I don't know, my piece was pretty small. Okay. Okay. Tasting beef jerky for the first time ever. <laughs> Can you see what it's supposed to be? Mm. <laughs> no, it's not good. Smoke kinds of like right, tastes like a bit of a ketchup, smoked beef, and I don't know. It said it had soy sauce in it. I mean, that's what we taste as well. Could be. Could be. I don't get what the hype is all about. No. Beef jerky. I mean, they make it look good in the movies and everything. Yeah, ever exactly. No. No. Thank you.